navigating a standard in the new lighting library. So let's start at the top. Um, as you can see, the page is a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit simpler. And um, your document is probably going to have uploaded in a little bit less time than it used to in the older version. So if we start near the top of the page, um, you'll see that the search bar is still there. Um, all of your tools will live in this top section. Um, here's where you can track, um, track a document, add to favorite, download, compare versions. Um, compare versions again works in tandem with other versions. Click the carrot and make sure that there are other versions with which to compare. Um, if you click the more section, this is where you can share a link to a document with any other lighting library subscriber. If we scroll down, um, you'll note that this is an active standard. Um, always look to make sure um, that there is a green active button next to your standard to make sure you're looking at the most recent version. Um, if we scroll down to the PDF, um, you'll see a regular IES standard. Um, you can scroll down using the scroll bar and see everything here. Um, other ways to view um, that are new is um, the thumbnail view. So if you click here, um, you'll be able to scroll directly to any page that you know you want to look at. Um, let's say we wanted to go directly to the table of contents. Um, you can go right to that page. Um, and you'll also note that you no longer have to use the right click in order to get open another link. Um, you can just click on a button and it'll take you right there. So I'm going to click on the reference section and I'll go to any of our references and that will open right up in the reference retriever. Um, other ways to view um, are in this section, the view controls. You can look through, um, sorry, a double page view, which works if you're not in this screen and you um, play with your zoom controls a little bit. You can view um, a full two page spread. You can also pan if you don't want to scroll, you can pan with the little hand. This is where you can annotate. Um, again, you'll pick your highlighter color, highlight content, release, and there you can save notes. In order to view those notes, you'll go to your comments section right here. Um, if you have comments saved, you'll be able to click through them and maybe have another video on using the comments tool. Um, and here we have an increased search function. So um, if you've searched before, this works more like a control F command um, in any kind of browser or Word document where you can search for a phrase or a word and click directly to those instances.